Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Della Chris and um, we moved our whole family into an RV camper, whatever, and it's a little under 200 square feet. Um, we did that so that we could pay off debt really fast and then eventually build our small house on our land. Um, I need to do an update. It's been so long since I've done an update, y'all. So y'all are so like y'all have so much grace for me and so I'm so grateful for that um so if you watched my last video you know that October sucked like it was so hard that's so bad the last time I did it was October so this is gonna be like a November slash December debt update um October was hard my car needed to be fixed that so we had to like cash flow that that was like $2,500 and by that point, like, I was just exhausted because stuff kept coming up. Um, we had been living in the camper, I think, at that point for, like, four or five months. And nothing was happening, it felt like. Um, so, I'm just so excited to give you guys this month's debt update. Let me pull out my notes. Um, so, y'all, I'm just so excited. Besides the fact that my phone just broke and I'm going to have to buy another phone. Um things are just looking up so uh, okay so we started if you watched our first video we started at 17,500 um consumer debt that we're trying to pay all off before we move to phase two um and we're down to 15,200 so for some of y'all that's not a lot and some of y'all like uh, womp womp but y'all that's like a month of progress um and i'm super excited like super excited so uh it, for those of you that have been following from the beginning, you know we have the Amazon, we have the um, we have the Amazon, we have the Capital One, and then a Wells Fargo card. Amazon is gone. We are Amazon debt free. So that is so exciting, guys. Like if you are on like the snowball debt free journey or whatnot, you know how it feels just to like cross off that one card. You don't have that payment anymore. It doesn't exist on your um budget. Like, you know, on the, there's no line for it on your budget anymore. You're like budget shrinking. You have more money left at the end. I am so geeked about this, y'all. And it's not even like that much, but there's just something about progress that makes you want to keep going. Um and so we're done with Amazon. Let me see how much we have. Capital One, I wrote it down. Hold on. Okay, so um, Capital One, we still have 3,300. And so we'll tackle that. And then once we're done with that, we'll, we have the big card, which is the Wells Fargo, and there's like 12K on that. We'll kill that, and then um, we're good. And y'all, I'm thinking, right now it's December. I'm thinking by March. So like uh, December, January, February, March, March or April, that's five months. I'm thinking we're gonna be done with this. And the crazy thing is when I look at our budget, when I, I know how much we make, I know how much we're able to put, extra we're able to put towards debt after paying bills every month, it doesn't fit with that. So what I mean by that is, um, like so let's say on a good month we have an extra $2,000 to put towards debt. Cause we still have bills even though we're living in a, a camper. Um, two thousand dollars and so you know that's five months that's only 10k but we have 15k i just feel like you know how you have that feeling like things are just gonna line up like something's gonna happen for your good and yeah so i'm just putting it out there i'm thinking march april we're done like we're done paying this off and that's just gonna feel so good and even though it feels like we are still so far from building the house because we want to save up cash or at least as much cash as we can to build um progress y'all progress so i'm super 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 excited also um we found we finally agreed on like what we want our house to look like and where we want it and what the like the inside blueprint is going to be so we're going to probably once we pay off debt go get that drawn up and stuff and there's just something about knowing and like i told my husband yesterday he was like yes like let's go with that because we've been going back and forth and couldn't really agree and then when i showed him like i combined a couple pictures from pinterest he was like yes and so like and he's like now i can visualize us standing in it so there's something about being able to like visualize your next step and your next goal that really like keeps you going and some y'all know what I mean and if you don't just try it like think about like what's your next step think about what you're gonna do with the money um that you'll have free every month once you're debt free like think about those things draw that vivid picture in your head and then something about like I don't know it just starts to come to life you know um and so 
I'm just super, super excited about that. Um, and so if you're on your debt-free journey, like, don't give up. If you can only pay $20 a month extra towards your debt, consistently pay the $20 a month extra towards your debt. Like, show up and just do it. Like, that's what we've just been doing the best we can. And, um... Yeah, I'm just excited. So if you're new here, it's your first video, hit the subscribe button. I try to show like really real life practical tips. Like I'm going to share some of my, um, I've been saying this, I really need to put it, put it together that I showed you guys my grocery, um, budget. I'll try to link that below. I mean, how I do my grocery shopping. Um, but just really showing y'all like my go-to meals, like what do I buy? What do I use? Because there's a lot of money in being able to just cook and, um, really just being organized and, um, disciplined. So you're not running to go out to eat and wasting money on those things. And so, yeah, I'm excited. And maybe when we pay off all of our debt, we can kind of like show you guys the house, plans or whatever I don't know if we're gonna get someone to professionally draw them I don't know and if y'all have done this before or I know some of my followers are building their own house let me know what y'all did because I know like some of the plans I've been looking at they're like a grand a thousand dollars um and then I don't know if we're since we're trying to combine two ideas I don't know let me know if y'all drew your own did you hire someone if you're a freelancer and you do this stuff and you know exactly what you're doing I would love to work with you just let me know because the thing is um I'll say this and I'll let you guys go. The thing is, I think our overall budget for our house is going to be like 20K. And so I don't want to spend $2,000 on the plan. And, you know, that's silly. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm cheering for y'all on your debt-free journey. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Pay what you can. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below if you're on your debt-free journey. How much do you have to pay? How much do you put extra to it a month? I would love to know that. I love getting to know you guys. Introduce yourself. Um, I love you guys. Talk to you next time.